Hybrid from WordPress Sites.net. Uh, I'll just show you how to create a table of contents. I did this recently, and I've been trying to work it out for a while. And I have, I've found a few template page templates that, that actually do do it, but they also include a lot of other stuff, which is uh, not 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 really that good. So uh, I've, I've included it on the tab on the top menu there called Table of Contents. It's actually a sitemap um, sitemap page template, and I've just modified it and put it in, into my child theme. So uh, if, if you don't have a child theme, I suggest you create one because that's the best way to customize your site. And here's the result. It, uh, it did include all the categories and archives and so on. Uh, and also all the pages of my site, which I've got about 80, so I, I didn't really want that. What I wanted was all my different uh, my blog post categories with the different posts underneath them. So that's exactly what it what it's done, and it's created like an index or a table of contents, and it's exactly what I wanted. And then in my sidebar here, I'll put the categories as well. Uh, that's not included in the page template. This is just a simple uh, categories widget, which which all themes have. So I'll just show you how I did that. Now just log into cPanel or, or FTP, whatever you're comfortable using, and uh, we'll go into the themes file, the parent themes. In this case, it's Canvas. You see, I've got Canvas Child, so I've got my child theme set up, and this is where I put all the uh, customization. It's a template sitemap.php file we're looking for, and uh, and the best thing to do is just copy that to your, your child theme, and then you can you can make modifications to it, and those modifications won't be overwritten when you update your theme. So uh, we'll just go back to the Canvas um, parent theme. And if we just scroll down, we'll find the different tem templates down here. Canvas uh, has got quite a few, um, so we'll have to find the sitemap one, which is down the very bottom. So here it is here. Just click on that, uh, right, right click on it, and you can just uh, just copy it to your uh, to your child theme. So uh, in this case, it's going to be canvas.child. Uh, it's in the same location as your parent theme. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll just copy that file over. So that'll maintain the file in the uh, in the parent theme. It still it stays there, and a copy of it will have gone across to your uh, your child theme. So the next step is just to make some simple modifications. So here we are inside the sitemap template. We just need to delete some uh, some code. Uh, I don't want uh, I don't want pages uh, listed. I don't want all the categories listed because I've already got them in the sidebar. All I want is a post per category. So I'll just delete all this. And uh, and we'll just save the changes. So that's all there is to it really, here's the result here, that's my, uh, what I call a table of contents, I could actually change the name, but I'd have to change the, um, change, change a fair few things in the, uh, in the template file, so I'll just leave it as sitemap, I've, I've called it table of contents, but site, sitemap's fine, and, uh, and, and that's the end result, it was pretty straightforward, it's, it's all in the child theme now, so, when my parent theme gets updated, uh, all, all the changes uh, won't be lost um, because the, the, the child theme overwrites the, uh, the parent theme files. So, uh, so there you go. Cheers. If you're wanting to learn more about how to create a child theme, there's a link on this blog post to the, to the actual post, which is a, it's a fairly simple process, really. It's not that difficult at all. Um, I've also created a video which should help you as well, so it's, it's, it's a pretty simple process and it's a great way to, uh, to customize your theme. I've also included a, a short tutorial on how to use a, um, an add-on for Firefox and Chrome called Firebug, um, and that's pretty, pretty straightforward, you've probably heard of that, so uh, that certainly uh, fits in well with your child theme as well, so, so there you go, cheers.